What's going on guys, Jordan back at you with another video. Today's the day guys, if you guys have been paying attention, this uh, topic has taken me a course of uh, some weeks. Um, I know it doesn't look that look like that on YouTube, but um, yeah, it's taken me over the course of some weeks to run through the correct uh, you know protocol, but today is the day I get my infotainment screen, radio screen, whatever you want to call it, fixed. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Um, I dropped the car off. I'm still at the dealership, just looking at some cars right now. But um, yeah, uh, just waiting for them. It usually takes like around about an hour for them to, you know, um, continue. I mean, not to continue, sorry. My mind's all over the place today. It takes them around about an hour to install the new radio. So I was just walking around to see if I saw anything new around here. I'm over here at uh, Jim Brown um, Dodge. Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, however you want to say it, Jim Brown, man. The Dodge version, because I know there's a couple of um, Jim Browns out here. This Challenger 50 edition, I didn't even know that they come like this. It's not the wide body version, and it says Hemi on the side, which leads me to believe that it's a 5.7. I didn't even know 50 editions had 5.7 versions. But um, yeah, it says Challenger 50 on the back I'm not really familiar it's kind of dusty but I guess that's you know pollen and stuff like that but um yeah, I'm not really sure what color this is I think this is granite I could be wrong but I think this is granite but I'll say forgive me if you watch my channel or anything like that I don't know whose car this used to be but bruh I thought Bumblebee was the Camaro bruh this is kind of like it's cool at the end of the day because it screams creativity but i think everybody knows the bumblebee to be the camaro that's a different badge on there b127 or 127 transformers and i got the honeycomb stripes It's like I like it. Maybe it's just I'm so stuck on the Camaro. Maybe if it was like a different Transformer character, I would have been like, oh, okay. Oh, that's dope. Got people flying on this road right now. Um, Yo, so I believe this is a Cybertronian or their language, which I think is a nice touch. That's pretty cool, actually. One hour later. What's going on, guys? I'm back in the car. Um, it was a little bit more than an hour, but that's okay. I didn't want to rush it, make sure they got everything together. Um, I'm about to turn the car on for the first time and see what happens. There's no lifting of the screen. None of that stuff. Let's see. Still black. minutes later all right guys i figured it out this actual screen was powered off which um i don't know if that's a thing that they do so i'm gonna turn the car on again there it is so i'm happy about that let's see nav's looking good music Look at the, uh, the apps. Everything seems to be responsive. Actually, it seems to be faster, honestly. Um, let's see, that's cool. Mind you, I'm just running through all, all this stuff before I leave, guys, because once I leave and there's a problem, I'll be in trouble for real, because then I'll have to go into oh it's not working and 
and then, you know, it's something that I did, so I'm just double checking everything, guys. Oh, I can tell it's new, too, because, um, it has those stupid, uh, radio beeps that happen. I'm pretty sure I'm going to turn that crap off. But yeah, it looks like everything's working. Um, I see none of my old stuff on there, which uh, tells me, oh wait, let me, which tell, well, it tells me that, you know, I need to work on getting this stuff, you know, um, set up to the way I want it again. Um, let's see what else is up here. But yeah, it looks like everything for the most part is working the way it should be. Um, but yeah, everything's really snappy though. I like that performance pages. That's what I was trying to look for. So this is the Dodge performance pages right here, which I'll be putting the taser back on and get this stuff, you know, all good to go. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, guys, give me a second. Let me get this all set up, and then I'll holler at you in a second. So, all right, guys, um, I'm reflashing it with my taser, doing all that good noise. If you guys are um, curious to what I'm doing, um, I'll put a card, um, I think, at the left, upper left hand side out of the screen on, you know, intro to the taser and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's rebooting so that I can get all my SRT goodness back. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have somebody in the comments saying, oh, don't mind that. Don't mind the Hellcat thing. That's what I have to have on there, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get someone in the comments saying, oh, you're trying to make it like a Hellcat when it's not. Uh, no, dude. I just like the features that come on the SRT portion of these cars. So, uh, like I said, this is my first, you know, Mopar, and um, once I found out about these features, I saw that you could put a taser to upgrade this, and I thought that was cool. So, um, it looks like it's all done now. So, um, the text looks um, different as it should, and I think I think I just got blocked in. What the fuck? But yeah, everything, yeah, everything looks um, as it should now. So, uh, yeah, let me, let me try and get up out of here and uh, I guess I'll move forward. So guys, I'm noticing a couple of things that aren't working with it, which I don't know why I suspected so, but um, I have no signal. Um, going out to for all my travel link connect stuff and uh the time is off which i think would attest to the no signal and my temperature sensor is completely off to 111 degrees it's never gotten that hot in florida so um yeah let me find out what's going on thank god i didn't leave the dealership so let me just turn back around real quick Up there it goes again.